You know, so this is Team Jonah bringing you another deck profile. This is of the Jewel Knight variant. There's a lot of different ways to play this deck, but this is my personal build. First I play. I keep putting it on the bottom. <laughs> Four of the uh, Breaker Eyes Pure Jewel Knight Ashley. When a Vanguard, when a Royal Paladin rides her, it gains 10k, 10,000 power and one critical. It's not the best Breaker Eye, but it is a Breaker Eye nonetheless, and it can really help just push out really high criticals. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yes, people. And then I play four leading Jewel Knight Salt. At first, when I first started playing this card, like when I first saw it was a 10k, it kind of threw me off a bit. But actually, its ability is pretty fair. It's kind of those two Jewel Knights to call a Jewel Knight. This can get you out of a tight spot at any point in time. And just the extra critical, it's really MLB. It's a 12,000 power, two critical, when it attacks, you have four Jewel Knight rear guards. Combining that with Ashley, it can be a three critical, three critical attack. If they can't guard it, it's pretty deadly. Because it can even kill them at two damage with one critical trigger. Next is my grade twos. I just play three pathetic jewel knight Owen. He is when you have more rear guards than your opponent. He's an 11k attacker. I don't really care for him, but his name is Jewel Knight, so you have to really play him in this deck because Galatin just it messes up too many strategies you can do with the other cards. And Solomon isn't a special counter boss. Sybil isn't, but speaking of Sybil. I play four, dog one size jewel knight Sybil. She is a uh, Calos two when she's placed on rear guard to call a uh, grade one jewel knight anywhere, which it's not restricted to behind her. The only problem she faces is that she's an AK, meaning without AK boost, she can't make 16 columns anymore. Which is why I usually just have this attack swing at rear guard. And then after that, I play just four of the fellowship. It's fellowship, right? Yeah, jewel knight Tracy. She's the 12k attacker for Jewel Knights, but mind you, she has to have three or more other Jewel Knight rear guards, which is why you want to play in this deck multiple Jewel Knight cards. Without them, they can really just mess up strategies. Grade 1 lineup is... The only Jewel Knight I don't play in this deck is Toy Poogle. Not Jewel Knight. He is when you have a Royal Paladin, when you have two Royal Paladin, Grade 3s, which one can be in Vanguard Circle and the other in Rear Guard Circle. He's a 9k booster. I use this with Sol behind Solomon to set up 21k columns. But that's really the only non jewel knight you can have on the field for Solomon's limit break to still be active. But I think I think he's a really good card, and if you're not running, if you're running the rest of your deck as jewel knights, he's a really good throw-in. Uh, jewel knight Prismy. He is there when he's placed on rear guard circle. Drop a card from your hand to draw one card from your deck. Uh, you have to have three or more jewel knight rear guards. Good 7k. I've used them to hand fix if I have extra threes in hand. Just gain shields. Even if you draw a trigger, it's not as bad. Because, you know, that's an extra shield you can use to guard throughout the next turn. Then, four perfect shields. Use the new one because, again, special counter boss. And if need be, call them for a final turn. I wouldn't recommend that unless you're really desperate for the final turn. Player tip. <laughs> huh? Player tip. Player tip. <laughs> call them if need be, but don't call them always. And she's also, you know, a flashing jewel knight. That's how you do it. <laughs> and um, Stinging Jewel Knight Shelly, it is their uh, 10k attacker for a jewel knight, but the problem is you need three more other rear guards with jewel knight in the name. So the biggest problem with this is you can't use it as an early game rush card like you can the other ones. It's still a 7k. But it can help later on in life because there's so much superior calling. I never understood why they just didn't get 12k attackers and 10k attackers. I'll never understand that. Four draw triggers, again, Jewel Knight, special counter boss, have to call. At least you have Jewel Knight in the name. Heal trigger. The Jewel Knight one. Personally, I like the artwork much better. And, again, Jewel Knight. Just four crits. A lot of people are playing the six crit, six draw build, but I like to have, make sure I don't, like, him suck with non Jewel Knights, because that would suck pretty bad. And these are just criticals, and I just play stand triggers. Uh, my starter is Jimmy Jewel Knight Tiffany. I think she's pretty good, honestly. You can move her in the soul, right, upside down. You can move her in the soul to give three units, three, up to th up to two units, three thousand power. And like, it's just it's really good because you use it behind Vanguard until you can you know grab a Toy Poogle through drawing it because you can't call with any of your abilities. It's the only bad thing about Toy Poogle, but it can make columns. Like with Ashley, if you have an Ashley and there's a 7k in your guard, it can force a 21k column, and that forces a lot out of vanguards, most vanguards nowadays. We're just leaving the cross ride meta, so. So that's a pretty good card. And that is my Jewel Knight deck. 
Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. More set 10 decks are still coming, and set 12 soon.